Hello everyone, this is Vidette Vanderweide with the eWomen Network of Orange County Chapter and I am here with one of our members, Robin Richter, and she is the owner of wearableimaging.com and we're going to ask her a little bit about her business today. Robin, thank you for being here this morning. Good morning, thanks for having me. Sure, so tell us a little bit about wearable imaging and what it is and how you got started in that. Okay, Wearable Imaging is uh, a promotional products company. Mm -hmm. um, how I got started, um, my background is quite diverse. I started out learning to play golf at the age of nine and went on to play high school golf on the boys golf team. Wow. And then earned a scholarship uh, to Long Beach State for um, on the women's golf team. And then I turned pro for about a year and a half and realized that that just was not my destiny to ah. play golf in a professional manner. Um, then I took a 180 and I went into the cosmetic business and worked my way up as an account executive for a company called Lawncomb. I'm sure mm -hmm. you're familiar with yeah. them. Uh, still use them today. I love them. And um, did that for about ten years, and that's loved a tough. It. That's a tough uh, job too. Too. I, I I was also in the cosmetics, and I was an Estee Lauder girl, and I know the the executives are always on the road. Yeah, we did a lot of traveling, and um, a lot of uh, a lot of little pieces of the puzzle to hold together all mm -hmm. the time. But I I loved it. I learned so much about the business. Then about. About 10 years into it, I was uh, offered a position um, as director of sales and marketing in the golf industry for a major golf company, and it was one of those things that was really hard to pass up. Mm -hmm. So I started that and realized that all along I've had the yearning to start my own business, to be, to be an entrepreneur, but I didn't quite know what that was or how that was going to fit in with my life. and. We took the uh, a booth to what they call an ASI trade show, and we were exhibiting as a supplier to sell to distributors, which is what I do now, mm -hmm. um, golf ball, branded golf balls and branded golf products. And um, once I got to this this show and saw how much fun these people were having, um, anything from imprinted pens to mm -hmm. high-end premium products, I was like a kid in a candy store. And I always knew that working with folks trying to help solve people's problems was always um, something that I really enjoyed doing. And all of a sudden, it just it just fit. It mm -hmm. was like, oh my gosh, this is what I, I want to do. I want to sell all these products. I want to work with people and help come up with the creativity and how to brand their business and how they can um, get more exposure. And um, 22 years ago, that was a decision I made and um, wow. worked uh, uh, in getting funding from my father and started out as a partnership with him 20 years ago so it's hard to believe it's been 20 years wow and here we are so that, that's a great story so for for one of your who's an ideal client for you let me ask you that first um i would say corporations small business owners anybody that wants to stand out amongst the competition and um be remembered by their clients mm -hmm. uh, we we have Clients such as ABC's Grey's Anatomy. We do all the mm. products on the, on the set um, and all the swag they give away to mm. their high end uh, VIPs. Uh, we work with um, auto dealers. We work with health companies. We work with small businesses, entrepreneurs, and that's one of my passions: is mm. um, getting involved at the ground level up helping them build their business and build their brand and how can we do this in a creative way. Mm -hmm. And why why are the promotional products so important to a, a business's brand? I think that they have uh, what um, we call stickiness. Um, they, they stay out in the industry. 
uh, um, they're remembered if they're unique and they're creative and people have a tendency to keep them on their desk or, or mm -hmm. use the right instrument or wear the product, um, whatever it may be, but um, the exposure is, is phenomenal mm -hmm. versus print where you, know, you may not even open that magazine, but um, right. the visibility of a promotional product, if creatively presented, um, will have a long-lasting Yes. Yeah. To it. Yeah. And, and I'll, I'll give an example of that. The last time you and I were in person together, you'd given me your business card, which was tucked into a little plastic thing that had the, the little cloth you used to, to clean your glasses with. And I love, right. I love that because I have an iPad that's always finger printy. Yep. And every time I pull it out, I think of you. So that's what you're talking about with stickiness. Yeah. You know, people are going to exactly. use that pen. They're going to use that paperweight or whatever it is and always think of you. So you'll be top of mind, front of mind for for your right. clients. Um, so the industry is ever-evolving. You know, every day somebody comes up with something new and creative, and that's my job to really stay on it and to mm -hmm. see what's out there, which what's fresh, what's new. Um and to keep my clients on top of that. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, another point to make is you have probably thousands of, of products, I would imagine, and in all different price points. So whether you're a Grey's Anatomy of the world or you're just getting started in your business, you have something to fit every business, every type of industry, and every type of price point. Is that right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. From under a dollar to, you know, well above, well mm -hmm. above. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And that's um, that's the beauty of it. It's just tell me, you know, what your budget is. Give me your target market, and let me do the work for you. We say, you know, basically, send us your art, and we'll do the rest. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. And you have the experience of twenty-two years now, so that you kind of can help give creative ideas to entrepreneurs who are like, but I, don't, I want something more than a pen but still in that price point. So you kind of know what people are looking for and what they're asking for. So you can give that professional advice as to what, what someone might need, what be, might be the best giveaway. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. <coughs> so <coughs> if people were going to find you, they would, I would direct them to your website. The link will be below this video and that's wearableimaging.com. Any other last minute thoughts that you want to share? Um, just reach out to us and we'd be happy to help. Okay. All right. I'm my voice. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. It ended at, it stopped at the, your, your voice went out at the end of the interview, so that's perfect timing. So this has been Vedette Vanderweide with eWomen Network, the Orange County chapter, and uh, here to introduce you to Robin Richter of wearableimaging.com. I want to thank you all for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next video. See you then. Bye, Robin.